steel I swear here. Are you a Templar that wants to get more out of his build? Wish you could sold some silver pledges. Well, this video is for you. I'm hearing the Crypt of Hearts pledge on the last boss, or bosses in this case, and I've sold my way all the way here. Let's see how well I do on the last boss by myself.
All right, let's see if this guy has any special abilities now that his brother's gone. And it looks like he does. Oh, this is going to be a challenge. Generating ultimate is going to probably be the only thing that gets me through this. And staying out of the ride. I'm using tripods for this fight, simply so I can have full resources. The nice part about this particular boss is he's not moving around too much. Which means my ultimate hits him for the full force. Now on a solo run, you actually generate ultimate for self-healing. And there's no need to get cocky by trying to take this boss down faster if you risk dying sooner. I know the boss is low on health, still not going to get cocky, I'd rather play it safe than start this fight over. Am I using potions a little more frequently than I have to? Probably. But again, on a fight like this, it's better to play it safe than to have to redo it.
All right. So let's take a look at the gear I ran with on this build to solo it. Um, five piece Fragonax VR14 blue. Four piece Mangus VR14 blue with the exception of the weapons. I went with a uh, VR16 sharpened purple for my main and then a VR15 sharpened blue for my secondary. Uh, if you go gold with this one you're going to gain 200 additional spell damage. Uh, but this is a budget build so I wanted to keep the cost below 50,000. If I had gone gold with this at the current market prices I would have well exceeded the 50,000. I probably would have been at like 110,000, 115,000. Um, I did splurge on the jewelry. Uh, three piece willpower. The magic recovery on this it came with the piece so I didn't have to spend any additional uh, gold on that. It's all robust and I I spent about 10,000 10, gold each for the two rings to have the maximum spell damage on them because that just it's well worth the investment so the way you get your damage is basically through the willpower and your two weapons the rest of it well it does add damage is mostly just for recovery and some protection uh, by going five piece a light one medium and one heavy. I take advantage of the light armor passives and when I get my undaunted skill level high enough I'll be able to take advantage of the one passive that gives you additional health, stamina, and magic for having the different types of armor. So that's how I did that. Thank you for watching the video comment, like, and subscribe. Your feedback is appreciated and in some cases critical to my improving these builds.